Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of solids. Under this, we are discussing solids axis inclined to both the principal planes concept. Under this, we are solving a problem on square prisms axis inclined to HP and side on HP is inclined to VP. This is the first problem under solids axis inclined to both the principal planes concept. Now we will move towards the problem. The given problem is a square prism of base 40 mm side and height 70 mm has its axis inclined at 45 degrees to the HP and has an edge of its base on the HP and inclined at 30 degrees to the VP. Draw its projections. Now we will extract the data from this problem. The name of the object is square prism and its base side length is 40 mm and axis height is 70 mm. Here in the problem it is mentioned that solids axis is inclined at 45 degrees to the HP. That is axis is inclined to the HP means initially we are assuming it is perpendicular to the HP. So in top view we will get image of the prism as a square shape. Then here they mentioned another condition that is edge of its base on the HP and inclined at 30 degrees to the VP. That is while its axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP, it is resting on its edge of its base. So that edge of its base is kept perpendicular to the XY line in top U. That is in top U we have to draw the square and so that the side one of this side of a square is kept perpendicular to the XY line in initial position. Then here axis inclination with HP is given as how many degrees? 45 degrees and in the final stage we have to tilt in such a way that prism's base side which is on HP to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the VP. The solution part is divided into two parts. Part A demonstration and part B drawing the solution for the given problem based on demonstration. Now we will move towards part A that is demonstration. The name of the object is square prism. Square prism is having two bases, four faces. The base shape is square shape and face shape is rectangular shape. In the problem it is mentioned that square prism is resting on its base side is on HP and axis is making axis means the line joining the two centers of the base. That line is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP and the base which is on HP is making an angle 30 degrees to the VP. Draw the projections. This is the given problem. Here as a first step as the axis is inclined to HP for the initial position that is in a simple position we are assuming the prism is resting on its base on HP so that axis is perpendicular to HP. So in top view we will see image of the square prism as square shape and then draw the front view. After drawing the top view as well as front view in first stage then we will tilt the square prism so that still it is resting on its base side on HP and axis is making 45 degrees to the HP. So draw front view again draw related top view. After drawing the related top view then the side which is on HP the side this is the side which is on HP is to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the VP. So the side is perpendicular to XY line here. Then we are going to tilt in such a way that it is going to make an angle 30 degrees to VP. So draw corresponding front U. Draw corresponding front U. That is the solution of the problem is divided into three stages. That is first stage simple position. Second stage axis inclination. Third stage side inclination, third stage base side inclination. 
that's about demonstration of the square prism problem just now we completed demonstration part now we'll enter into part b that is drawing the solution for the given problem based on demonstration the solution procedure for the given problem is divided into three stages that is stage one stage two stage three stage one in the case of stage one that is simple position assume prism is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp this is simple position here prism is resting on its base on hp and axis is parallel to vp so that in top view we'll see square shape in top you will see square shape then after drawing the top view then we'll draw corresponding front view with the given axis height as a first step that is in simple position we are assuming prism is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp so in top view it is a square with its side perpendicular to xy and draw corresponding front view with the given axis height then we'll move to second stage in the second stage reproduce the front view so that the given condition that is axis is inclined to hp and parallel to vp and its base side is on hp is satisfied then draw corresponding top view after that we'll move towards stage 3 in the case of stage 3 reproduce the second top view so that the base side which is on hp to be inclined to the vp and draw corresponding front view this is the final required view when the axis is inclined to hp and side is on hp now we'll move towards detailed solution for the given problem as a first step draw xy line in stage 1 after that here the square prism is resting on its base on hp and its axis is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp draw top view of the square prism so that we are able to see fully the base of a square prism that is square shape while drawing the top view of a square prism draw side of the base of a square prism is perpendicular to xy line so draw a line perpendicular to xy line then construct the base of a square prism that is square shape as we know that the prism is having two bases and this is a square prism no that's why it is having four faces face shape is a rectangular shape then name the corners of the base of a square prism say a b c d e f g h as it is having two bases then locate the axis point say op is the axis so p comma o is the axis point in top view then draw projector through axis point towards the vertical plane this is the height of the axis in the case of front view we will get the true length of the axis height then draw projectors through a b c d towards the vertical plane then name the points in the front view that is a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash g dash h dash o dash p dash join those points then the axis height is 70 mm with this we completed stage 1 then we'll move towards stage 2 in the case of stage 2 we have to tilt the square prism in such a way that it is resting on its side on hp and axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp so gh this side gh is on hp so its image falls on the xy line and this axis to be tilted with an angle of 45 degrees to the hp so as a first step draw 45 degrees inclination line and then reproduce this front view from first stage to the second stage so that 
g dash h dash to be on x y line and x is to be inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the h p. g dash h dash is on x y line because it is on h p and this axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the h p base is making an angle 90 minus 45 degrees that is 45 degrees to the h p then name the corners in front you 45 degrees then draw projectors vertically downward direction from the second front view and projectors through initial top view towards right hand side that is horizontal projectors rightward direction after that locate the intersection points name the intersection points then observer is looking in this direction that is for drawing top view as a first step draw all outside points with continuous dark lines then for the observer ab corner that is for the observer ab corners nearer whereas gh corners are far away so ab corner containing edges are continuous and gh corner containing edges are hidden so as a first step draw all outside points with continuous lines then ab side is continuous whereas gh side is hidden hidden lines are mentioned with dotted lines that is all outside points with continuous and dark lines gh is hidden whereas ab is continuous this is p and this is o this is the end of second stage then we will move towards third stage in the case of third stage we have to tilt the side which is on hp that is gh with an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane that is we have to reproduce this second top view in such a way that the side which is on hp that is gh is to be making an angle 30 degrees to the vp so next step is draw 30 degrees inclination line and then reproduce this top view here draw inclination line which is making an angle 30 degrees to the xy line then reproduce this top view so that gh line is making an angle 30 degrees to the xy line here gh which is on hp is making an angle 30 degrees to the xy line then name the points on the top view after that draw projectors through f1 g1 b1 c1 d1 a1 h1 and axis points towards the vertical plane and projectors through second front view horizontally rightward direction then locate the intersection points after that name the intersection points after that all outside points all outside points to be joined with continuous and dark lines and the corner which is nearer to the observer containing edges to be continuous and dark and the corner which is furthest from the observer containing edges to be dotted that is they are hidden here c is nearer to the observer because we are looking in front of the object 
So C is nearer to the observer. So C containing edges say CB, CD, CG are continuous and dark. Whereas E corner is far away from the observer. So E corner containing edges say EF, EH, EA are hidden. Hidden lines are drawn with dotted lines. Then draw axis line for that. Draw projectors through P1 as well as O1 from the top view towards the vertical plane. Then O dash and P dash horizontally rightward direction. Locate the intersection point. Join those intersection points with axis line. This is the axis line. Then this is the final front view. This front view satisfies the given condition that is square prisms axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP and it is resting on its base side on HP that is GH on HP. So GH image falls on the XY line that is G dash and H dash. This is the final front view and this is the final top view. Here, height of the square prism is 70 mm and base side length is 40 mm. That is, all dimensions are in millimeters. And this is the first stage and this is the second stage and this one is the third stage. This is the final front view and this is the final top view. For queries, contact mbrrin at the rate of gmail.com. For more videos on engineering graphics, visit the following link. Thank you.